Ito yung ano, siya bali de Water Bay. Ayan. Diba? Tahimik po ngayon ang ano, tahimik ang ating beach. Ating kalagatan, tahimik. Usahay diri ko mag-jogging o ganahan. Kani diri nga way, pathway. Ah, uh, di ba? Freshness kayo. Ah, uh, di ba? Uh. So ayan, tuloy. Ang mga yati para nakastambay diyan oh. Ayun, nindot ka ayong paminaw di rin ngayon. Karol, dili kusog ang hangin. Tama lang. Three hours later. Equipment, but if you want to make it harder, you can always add extra weight. We also have not included a warm-up or a cool-down, so you want to make sure you get those in on your own. Alright, so assuming you've gotten your warm-up done, let's go ahead and get started with that first exercise, which is going to be a basic squat. You're doing 10 repetitions. Let's go ahead and get ready. And begin. Get a nice deep squat. Keep that back perfectly flat the entire time. You want to focus on trying to get those hips down as low as you can, as low as is comfortable for that knee. So the main goal is to try to get those hips at least to knee height. If you can, drop those hips even lower than that, just making sure that back stays nice and flat. You want to try to mimic the angle off of your shin with the angle of your chest to make sure you're getting a nice clean squat. Try not to lean too far into your heel and definitely try not to lean too far onto your toe. You want to make sure that that weight is pretty even between that toe and that heel. And this is your last repetition right here. Go ahead and let that one relax. Let's move on to our next squat variation, which is going to be a plie squat. This one, you want those feet pointing in opposite directions, rolling those hips open as much as you can. Let's go ahead and get ready. And start it up. Again, feet in opposite directions, squatting down as low as is comfortable. You're going to feel like you have a pretty limited range of motion here, especially depending on how flexible that inside thigh is as well as that hamstring. So you want to make sure you're trying to get those knees pointing in as close to opposite directions as is comfortable for that knee and for that hip. Again, keep that back perfectly straight up and down. Try to get those hips down as low as is comfortable. Just keep those lungs open. Keep that repetition going nice and slow under control. Almost done. Just two more repetitions. Nice deep squat. One more. And let it relax. Good job. Let's go ahead and move on to our next variation, which is going to be a squat with a side leg raise. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Traditional squat, nice and low. Again, trying to get those hips to knee height or lower. Every single time you come up from that squat, you're going to bring one leg up and out to the side as high as you can without tipping your body over sideways. You want to try to keep that torso perfectly straight up and down. Just make sure you're alternating every single repetition. Just keep that motion going. Again, nice deep squat. Keep those lungs open. Nice flat back. We have just one more on each side. Here's your last one right here. And let it relax. Good job. Let's move to our next one, which is going to be a roundabout squat. Just start with those feet about shoulder width apart, just like you would for a traditional squat. Go ahead and get ready. 
and start up. You're going to drop down to the right, up across the left, stop at the center, reverse that direction, back around the other side. So you want to try to get that same depth like you would with a regular squat. So you want those hips nice and low, but you want to get as much motion as you can from left to right as possible. So really kick those hips off to the left as you drop down, up across the right, and then reverse it down to the right, up across the left as you come back. Just keep alternating back and forth, keep that back nice and flat. Again, focusing on trying to get a nice deep squat the entire time. Almost done. One more back around the other side. And let it relax. Let's go ahead and move on to our next, which is going to be a squat with a reverse leg lift. Go ahead and get ready. And begin. All right, starting off with that traditional squat again, just like we've done before, just adding that different motion, lifting that leg back behind you instead of off to the side or just doing a traditional squat. Now, every single time you drop down, it's just like I said, like a traditional squat, get that back flat, get as low as you possibly can. When you come up, one leg comes up back behind you, nice tight squeeze on that butt, bring it back down, another squat, and then up with the opposite leg. Just keep alternating back and forth. Again, focus on keeping that back nice and flat. Don't lean forward when you lift that leg up back behind you. You want to try to keep that torso as straight up and down as you can. Just two more repetitions. One more on the other side. And let it relax. Good job. Let's move on to the next. We're going to be doing a triple dip squat. So we're doing three pulses at the bottom of the squat. Go ahead and get ready. And start up. Nice deep squat. Just a regular traditional squat. Pausing at the bottom, doing three pulses at the very bottom of that range of motion, just about three to four inches in depth, then right back up to a standing position before you drop right back down in that squat again. Now again, you're trying to get those hips as low as you possibly can, and you only want to pulse at the bottom range of that motion. So you don't want to pulse in the middle. You want to make sure your hips are as low as you possibly can the entire time. Keep that back nice and flat. Keep those lungs open. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Now as you start getting tired with this one, you're going to want to start limiting that range of motion and doing that pulse a lot higher. Keep concentrating on forcing yourself to get down as low as you can. That's what's going to get you the most out of this. That's what's going to get you the most muscle development and toning out of this and get that butt really nice and round. So keep yourself down there as low as you can. Now we have just one more repetition to go. And relax. Good job. Let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise, which is going to be a sumo squat plus a high kick. Now, with this one, you're going to want to try to keep those feet about twice shoulder width apart. Those toes point off about a 45 degree angle. Let's go ahead and start it up. Get those feet out nice and wide. Turn those toes off. Nice big deep squat. And then you're going to bring one leg up and over top. Nice big circular motion. Right back down to the place where you picked it up from. Nice big deep squat again. Then back up and over. As you do this, your feet are going to start wandering back in towards each other. Try to keep those feet really nice and far apart. It'll make that outside thigh and that inside thigh have to work a lot more, as well as focusing on those glute muscles, those butt muscles, in a different way than a traditional squat. So try to keep those knees out nice and wide. It's your last one. And let it relax. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next exercise, which will be a side squat. And go ahead and get ready. And begin. So step off to the side, nice deep squat. Down between those knees, try to get those hips nice and low. The wider you step, the harder it's going to be on those legs. The more development you're going to get out of that glute muscle, that butt muscle, as well as the more effort you're going to get out of those outside thighs. So the wider you step, the more you're going to have to challenge those muscles. So try to get as wide as you can. Now you only have a couple repetitions left. One more back over the other side. And let it relax. Good job. Let's move on to our next, which is a double dip ski squat. So those feet are going to be really nice and close together. Two pulses at the bottom. Let's go ahead and get ready. And begin. With those feet just about two to three inches apart. You're going to drop down. Keep those knees straight in line with that foot. Make sure your knees don't kick off to the side or tuck in. You want to keep them right over top of that foot. Nice, deep squat. Try to get those hips down as low as you can. Just like a regular squat, you're trying to get those hips to at least knee height or lower if you can, as long as it's comfortable on that knee and that hip. Again, keep that back nice and flat. You're doing that pulse at the bottom, two to four inches in depth, trying to do it only at the very bottom of that range of motion. Now just keep it going a little bit longer. You only have two more repetitions. One more. Keep that pulse nice and low. And let it relax. Nicely done. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our last exercise of this routine which is going to be a jump squat. We're going to end off with a hard one. Let's go ahead and get ready. 
And start up. Nice deep squat. Jump as hard as you can. Drop right back into a squat again. And then jump again. As quickly as you can. Make sure you get a nice slow recoil down into that squat. Get as low as you can before you jump as hard as possible. The lower you go, the more strength development, the more muscle development you can get in that butt. So the rounder it's going to get. Almost done. And let it relax. Good job. This workout is complete. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till it hits Ayan guys, so ayun lang, mabilis lang naman, uy, hindi, hindi na natin pagurin yung ating sarili. <laughs> so bali, after kong maghapunan, so one, one hour siguro rest ko, tapos uh, after one hour, syempre kay Kiay na, o diba? Kunting pang paugnat sa, ka, sa kaunuran. So depende na rin sa trip natin, no? kung gusto nyong magmukbang, kung gusto nyong mag, ano, so syempre, after magmukbang, mm -mm, galaw-galaw din, no, para hindi pumanaw. <laughs> So ayan, ito lang yung routine ko daily. Ay, hindi siya na, hindi naman sa daily. Ayan, so every other day. Sa so, trip lang din, no? So trip ko lang din. Ayan, ito na. Tapos na tayo sa ating... Uh -uh. So... Uh, med, medyo madali lang siyang tingnan. Pero pag kayo na mismo ang gagawa. Ako... Mahirap. <laughs> Mas mahirap. So ayan guys, sana i-try nyo rin. Uh -uh. Pang paano lang, pang paugnat sa kaunuran. So uh, guys, guys... Thank you for watching. And syempre, di ba, huwag kalimutan din mag-subscribe, like, and comment sa ating video for today. Ayan. So, sana ituloy-tuloy na, no? Hindi lang trip-trip lang din, no? Pag may time. So, bye guys. God bless.